game streaming over the internet on this Steam link you could get for $2.50 is possible now. And it works really well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome. Hi everyone. As you saw in the intro, we got Steam Link running on the Steam Link on this device over the internet. Yeah. Really cool. In this video, we're going to show you on how we did it. So before we dive into it, we have to uh, take notice that you do need uh, a proper internet connection for it. Yeah. Um, it has to be like a minimum of 20 megabit. Yeah, 20 megabit is uh, the sweet spot. Yeah. yeah, you can do with 10, but maybe on see, 720p. Yeah. yeah, you'll see some probably stuttering and uh, compression, compression. Yeah, frame drops. Yeah, and yeah. we don't want that. No, no. If you're gaming, you want it to be smooth. Uh, so internet connection is important. Um, we uh, used Moonlight to run it over the internet. Yeah, I started with Moonlight a couple of weeks ago, tested it out. Uh, mm -hmm. I wanted a cloud gaming uh, solution for all my computers in, in house. On the website of Moonlight, uh, and you can see it in the video now, um, I saw a download link for the Steam Link. Hey, hey, I didn't even know you could install apps on the Steam Link. No, that's a new one for me as well. Yeah, and this device, maybe you remember it, it was not that popular. And um, in the last days, it was sold for about $2.50, I believe. So, yeah. so very cheap to, to get one. Yeah, just get rid of all the stock that's left. Yeah. And get it for two fifty, dollars and, mm -hmm. uh, and we're fine. So, um, yeah, if you have a device like this, this is really cool. If you go to the download section, you will find uh, a download for Steam Link as well. If you click that, you download the package, extract it on the USB stick that is formatted as a FAT32, and you will have a folder structure uh, with Steam Link. Just copy the whole Steam Link folder onto the root of your uh, USB stick. Um, after that, unplug the USB stick, mm -hmm. put it in your Steam Link. You disconnect the power from your Steam Link, so it's um, powered off completely, mm -hmm. because a soft uh, shutdown won't do the trick. Then you plug the power back in, let the Steam Link boot, and you will notice the boot will take up a little bit longer than usual, and that's because it will search the USB stick for um, installable packages, and it will install the package it found on the USB stick. Yeah. And after that's done, you'll be prompted with this screen. So as you can see now, uh, Moonlight has shown up on the home screen yeah. of the Steam Link. Um, so next we can do is navigate to that, open it up, and uh, you will see it will start searching for NVIDIA game stream capable PCs. Yeah. So it does mean that you do need an uh, NVIDIA GPU to get this working. You will need to enter the code that's prompted on your screen on your game stream capable PC. Once you've done that, your PC is connected. So yeah. you only need to do this once and then you're done. If you want to be able to stream over the internet like we did, you want to make sure you have forwarded the correct ports to your PC. As you see in the video now, these are the ports you need to open up on your router to your PC and Moonlight will automatically connect to that PC if it finds it over the internet. Yeah, so first we're gonna have a look at uh, the in-home streaming um, side of Moonlight. Yeah. Uh, we've tested two games for this, uh, Doom and The Grid. Mm -hmm. um, and let's have a look at the gameplay footage now yeah. and see um, what set it looks like. Yeah, and the settings were at 1080p on 20 Mbit. Yeah.
But of course, this video is about Steam Link over the internet. Mm -hmm. So we took this device to Chevy's home. Yeah. Uh, we connected it, just a Steam Link, an Xbox controller, an HDMI cable you had already laying there. Uh -huh. um, we connected it, started it up, and yeah, this is the content of that. Let's have a look at that. So as you can see, we've played some uh, Doom and Grid uh, at my place as well. Yeah. Um, it runs very smoothly. Yeah. Uh, we didn't notice, um, at least I, I was on plane, so <laughs> I, di I didn't notice any any lag um, in, in the gameplay. Um, it felt really smooth as if I was just streaming like in home. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, we do have um, a very good upload. So yeah. this we, have, we have both an internet connection of 500, 500, but we limited the connection for testing purposes only to 20 Mbit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you will still need um, the upload. The upload must be, at least on the, the streaming side, must be 20 Mbit at least. Yeah. Yeah, at least, yeah. Indeed. Definitely, for, for it to work properly. Uh -huh. So that was Doom. Yeah, we, um, we played some grid as well. And uh, as you can see, also very smooth. Um, also well, didn't. the Doom gameplay isn't that smooth, Chevy. <laughs> no, I mean, that might have been my driving skills. Yeah. Um, it definitely yeah. uh, wasn't lag, uh, so that's that's all. Uh, all wasn't the lag. No, yeah. so that's all fine. Yeah. Um, just again, a very smooth experience. Um, quality of um, of the image is very good. Yeah, I did notice some compression with Sea of Thieves. Uh, yeah. in the sky, in the clouds, mm -hmm. um, but sadly the camera stopped recording at that point, so we don't have any footage of that, but no. it was very minimal and you need to be up close on the TV to even notice it, yeah. even be able to notice it. Indeed. But it works really well. Um, the fun thing with this is, if you start up Moonlight, you can start up Steam if you have installed it on your PC. Yeah. yeah. And it will show up in big picture, so through some hoops, you will get to big picture, you will get to Steam, and you have Steam Link over the internet. And yeah. this is what you get. But apart from Steam, um, it also works with um, games just running on Windows. Like we mentioned, Sea of Thieves. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is um, an Xbox Windows game. Yeah. Um, so that works as well, and it works really well um, streaming it. Horizon 4 works, yeah. yeah. Um, Gears of War 4, yeah. Works as well. Um, so it's not only um, Steam, as in Steam Link, no. um, it, it works with more platforms uh, than only Steam. Yeah. So... Conclusion. Connected over the internet, um, it hardly has any compression over uh, 20 Mbit. Yeah. Um, no noticeable lag at all. Nope. Yeah, um, same experience. Um, yeah, as you know, I already configured the gaming VM on the Unraid server, so there's a 1080 again in that server yeah. and it's my only gaming pc in the house now it's in the basement and all my computers are connected with moonlight and yeah i can basically play everywhere in the house and this device is also very capable of streaming 1080p mm -hmm. it, it works really well yeah. the only downside with this is um you don't get 4k support 1080p no. is the max this device can deliver and it uh, yeah doesn't have hdr or anything so that's, uh, that's not going to work. We could try that with uh, NVIDIA Shield. And I think they're about uh, to release a new generation of their NVIDIA Shield. I'm not quite yeah. sure. It, it's a bit of a rumor still, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we do expect it to happen. Yeah, then I will definitely need uh, a better graphics card for that. Yeah. Um, but if you like, I could show you in another video how I set up my whole configuration for virtual machine gaming, mm -hmm. um, how you can do it yourself, and maybe get a little bit more in depth on the configuration of it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only found this topic uh, on April on the Steam forum, so it's not it's it's all that fresh. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. nice. With that, we're gonna leave the video at this. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, you can leave them down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.